Now back to the big night for the Lions happening tonight. The Lions have two first round picks, number six and 18. And sports director Brad Galley is in the studio with what we could see from the Lions tonight, Brad. Yeah, the NFL draft is all anyone in this town has wanted to talk about for months. Having that pick from the Rams turned into the sixth overall selection, probably not what this team expected when trading Matthew Stafford to Los Angeles. But they're heading into the night with two first rounders. The way Brad Holmes drafted in 2021 and 2022 has helped accelerate this organization's rebuild. Aiden Hutchinson and Jamison Williams in the first round last year, Panay Sewell in the first round in 2021. The success hasn't been limited to just the top round. Amon Ross St. Brown, Aleem McNeil, Malcolm Rodriguez, Kirby Joseph, among the other players throughout the last two drafts that have made an impact. Holmes said each year he trusts his own instincts. He's not afraid to do the same again. I just think your gut is, regardless of the round, um, I just think your gut is always going to be, you can look at all the data and the research and we scrub it and we dive deep. But at the end of the day, if it does not feel right, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little difficult whichever round, it could be in the seventh round. If you have to make that phone call to that kid to tell him he's going to be a Detroit Lion, you want to feel confident about it. And you don't want to have any nervousness about it. The Lions have four picks in the first 55 selections. Thanks to the Stafford trade and the Vikings pick from the TJ Hawkinson trade, the Lions have a big opportunity to continue to take a big step. You are in Kansas City on the ground. You're going to be a big part of the coverage all day for that long marathon for the core rounds later in the draft on Saturday on ABC and ESPN. Matt, how much can a good season from the Lions help next year's draft environment for this team when Detroit, the city itself, hosts the draft? Oh, it's huge. Obviously, being in Kansas City, coming off the Chiefs winning a Super Bowl, it feels like the Super Bowl parade never stopped here. So it's just, it's uh, it's wild to see what downtown looks like. But yeah, I think for Lions fans, the momentum even at the end of this year uh, it was through the roof. You know, after midseason, the, I don't even call it a turnaround, but like the improvement of that team as we got closer into the year, the emergence of some superstars. I'm on around St. Brown, you know, being probably the face of the team, I would imagine at this point. There's having a, a winning season next year, maybe getting into the playoffs after getting really close this year. I think it will definitely get Lions fans pretty excited. We've said it year after year after year since the NFL has taken the draft on the road. Wow, what an environment from Philly to Nashville to Las Vegas. And tonight when it kicks off in Kansas City, the coverage I'm sure will show just how crazy Kansas City is. And Brian, how special would it be if the Lions were able to put together a special season this year leading into next year's draft in our city? Uh, Brad, I know that we were talking earlier, and for those in Kansas City, it feels like their championship parade never ended because of this back-to-back, -back. so it would be incredible if the same thing could happen here, at least similar. All right, Brad, thank you. I am joined now by Lions analyst Lomas Brown. Lomas, the Lions have been making some good progress under Dan Campbell. How do they keep that momentum going with their picks tonight? Oh, man, it would be great. I mean, again, they got a six, the 6 and the 18th pick in this draft. I think we need to look defense because that was a little bit of our shortcomings last year. But hopefully they'll be able to pick the best guy in the draft. And it's great to be able to pick not because of need, but because of want. And that's a great position for the Lions to be in. That's a different position than the Lions yeah, have been in, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, so, so based on that, you're saying last year's first pick, defense. This year's first pick, defense. Is that that's what you would like to see tonight? Absolutely, because I think that's the area of need. I think we need to look at look at if you look at our offense. I mean, one of the best offensive lines. Jared Goff was probably one of the best quarterbacks towards the end of the season. Our receiving crew. We're basically running backs bringing in Montgomery. So I think we're pretty much set on the offensive side of the ball. I just think we need to keep adding depth and keep adding impact players on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, we saw a pretty nice end of season stretch there hoping to carry it on <laughs> this year. How good do you think this team is going to be? You know, I, I, the sky's the limit. It really is. And you know what we need? We need a home playoff game. And the only, <laughs> hey, way, yeah, the we only way you get that is you win your division. So to me, take care of business at home. That's eight right. games at home. Split on the road, and we could have a possible division title here. We can only hope. Yes. Lovis Brown, Absolutely. appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, and be sure to tune in tonight for our coverage of the first round of the NFL Draft. It all starts at 8 right here on 7.